What's going on YouTube, GSN right here. So in today's video, I have an important recap of what's currently going on important in the jailbreak community and what happened important in the last week or so. So this video is brought to you by Anyfix and this software allows you to repair your iOS system, to fix various iTunes issues, and of course, enter an exit recovery mode and so much more. Check it out in the link below, pretty good tool. So something that I didn't mention before in my videos is that the Chimera jailbreak was updated. The reason I didn't mention it is because Chimera is basically iOS 12 at this point, so not exactly very important for a lot of people, but it is important for those of you who still use Chimera and who still have devices stuck on iOS 12. But don't worry, I'm getting to iOS 14 very, very soon in just a couple of seconds. But anyways, yes, if you are a Chimera user, it has been updated and it even supports 12.4.9. Now, oddly enough, the Odyssey team, not Chimera team, Odyssey team posted, quote, Chimera 1.5 is now available with support for A7 and A devices up to 12.4.9 and the Procarsis bootstrap. Migration from the Chimera bootstrap to Procarsis is not yet supported. Now, this is actually very important. It's a very huge and important step. The Procarsis bootstrap, very fast, very good, very well maintained, and a jailbreak with the Procarsis bootstrap works pretty smooth. The Chimera bootstrap, not exactly the best, but it does work. However, the move to the Procarsis bootstrap is definitely a good one and it should definitely increase the stability of the jailbreak and of course the overall usability of it. Now speaking of iOS 14, for those of you who missed it, the Google Project Zero announced something very important that has been patched in 14.2. Now keep this in mind, this may be the key for the iOS 14 jailbreak, especially on the A12 and A13 and A14 devices. Ben Hoax of Google Project Zero posted, quote, Apple have fixed three issues reported by Google Project Zero that were being actively exploited in the wild. This is an important statement actively exploited in the wild means that they were used by attackers against iOS users for, you know, nefarious purposes. However, if you are interested in jailbreaking, updating to iOS 14.2 is a very, very bad idea because patching those vulnerabilities makes the iOS more secure. However, more secure means no jailbreak. So we can't use those for a jailbreak if they are patched. And they also say here, quote, CVE 2020-27930, which is a remote code execution. And then we have CVE 2020-27950, which is a memory leak, which was already released in here by Synactive. They posted the exploit and a write-up about it, so pretty cool. CVE 2020-27932, which is a kernel privilege escalation. This is actually important. This one can indeed be used for a jailbreak. The RCE may be usable too, but the kernel privilege escalation is actually an important thing. The security bulletin is available on the Apple page, so if you copy this and we paste it here on the security content of 14.2, you can see exactly what we're talking about. It's here on the kernel, and it says that it's available for the iPhone 6s and later, which means that the iPhone 12 is also supported by those vulnerabilities. And of course, that means a possible jailbreak with those vulnerabilities may also support the iPhone 12. Now it says here on the impact that a malicious application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges. For Apple, this is a pretty serious problem. However, for us jailbreakers, this is a very good thing. However, contrary to what Google Project Zero usually does, these vulnerabilities haven't been released. So for one of them, the memory leak here, Synactive posted this huge blog post containing, you know, all the information about the exploit and stuff like that. And at the end of it, they posted the source code. So this can be used for a jailbreak, but only if chained. Unfortunately, this in here doesn't give you TFP0. We don't know if any of the rest, for example, the remote code execution or the kernel privilege escalation does give TFP0. So I guess we're going to have to wait more for Google Project Zero to make this public. But now more than ever, it's important to stay on 14.1 or lower. 14.2 is a black hole for jailbreak purposes. If you're on 14.1, definitely stay there. If you're on anything lower than 14.1, definitely stay there. Now, after my previous video, many people asked me if I talked with the Uncovered team or if I know anything about their Uncover release, because currently the Uncovered jailbreak only supports 13.5 and lower. For some bizarre reason, they did not update the Uncovered jailbreak with the exploit that the Odyssey team uses. So that's actually weird because the exploit is indeed publicly available. Now they posted this a couple of days ago. They said, quote, we're going to release Substitute 2.0.0 with unprecedented app loading speeds for Uncover and checkering jailbreaks on iOS 11 to iOS 14 using a newly designed tweak injection system that allows loading 
a big number of tweaks for ultimate customization with minimal overhead very soon. However, it's actually quite weird that we're going to get an updated substitute which basically is a component of Uncover, but not to the Uncover itself. The latest update we had for the Uncover was back in July, which is indeed weird. Now, I did not talk to Pound Own, I don't know what he's planning to do or whether he's going to update the Uncover jailbreak in any shape or form. However, at this point, I would say just drop it, just use the Odyssey jailbreak because it's already available. If there are bugs, you can definitely report them to get them fixed. I think waiting for Uncover at this point is pointless because because there doesn't seem to be any clear communication if we're going to get an update or not. And if I had to guess, I would say no, we're probably not going to get an update anytime soon. So if you are postponing getting the Odyssey jailbreak because you were waiting for the Uncover, then I would recommend it to actually use the Odyssey at least until the Uncover is out. So yeah, that's basically it. Thank you for watching. This was a quick recap of what happened in the past week in the jailbreak community. Definitely stay updated, subscribe, and of course, till the next time, I'm Geosnow. Peace out.